Hey, good Monday morning. Ah, how you guys doing today? <coughs> I uh, have a day off today. Uh, I go in for my uh, checkup on my cataracts, all right? Well, my last cataract. I got to go and see uh, my uh, Dr. Lou uh, to make sure everything's okay. And as far as I'm concerned, it is. You know, it's a beautiful thing when you can see. Uh, my friend Babette, she had it done, and uh, thumbs up to her, and uh, she was scared to death, as she told me, you know, <laughs> and so was I the first time, you know. You never want anything going towards your eye. And uh, after they did the first one, I said, Doc, let's do the second one. I'm ready to go. <clears throat> but enough of that, so here's to you. Good morning. Have some coffee with me. Uh, I didn't make it down to my happy place, as most of you know. <clears throat> and uh, apparently there were some very bad uh, storms down in the uh, Jersey Shore Point areas, uh, Cape May and uh, the villas and so on and so forth. Uh, I did get a message from my good friend uh, and neighbor, Nancy. Uh, her camper is right next door to mine, and... Uh, you know, she let me know uh, a little bit of bad news that my canopy took another crap, all right? I, I think I told you guys this uh, yesterday, but uh, so I'll be buying a third canopy for the season. Now, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this one. Um, I might have to start taking the, uh, the uh, canvas top off or whatever the material is made out of. I might have to start taking that down every time we go home because uh, I'm not having a very much success with leaving the, uh, the, uh, the top of it on the canopy frame. Uh, and I don't understand why, because I did that for years with my first frame. Never had a problem with it. I don't know if they're making the material for the canopy differently or if they're cheapening the frame material because uh, that's what Nancy said busted uh, down after there was some water that got in the canopy material and it just broke the frame. So, And uh, she got in touch with uh, my other neighbors down that way, her neighbors also, <clears throat> and said, hey, Ralph's not in the area. Could you guys come down and uh, take the frame down? And they were good enough to do that. And uh, I'll say it again. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <clears throat> okay, enough of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that's a, that's the downside. Uh, I have glaucoma, and I got to take these glaucoma drops, <clears throat> and twice a day. And for whatever reason, the drops that I take, uh, when of course when you put them in your eye, obviously eventually it gets right in here, and that's your tear duct, and that runs down into your throat. <clears throat> so uh, part of the residue from the drops goes down here and and into my throat, and uh, my throat, uh, it, it creates havoc with my throat. Uh, it gets all dried out and, and scratchy and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> and it takes a couple hours for it to get back up to where it should be. So if you're hearing my voice being a little wacky, that's why. Cheers. Now on to my product review. This stuff here, all right. <laughs> I uh, I usually use Equate. That's a, a Walmart's version of the whitening strips, <clears throat> and uh, I've been using that for a while, and that works real well. Well, they didn't have any <clears throat> of the Equate, <clears throat> so I I took a chance and I bought this. Well, let me tell you, they're little strips, okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, but it gives you an idea of the strips right there. And they got the chemical or whatever it is on one side. Well, when you open this up, you take the strips off and you put it on your teeth, top and bottom. Well, uh, <laughs> I couldn't tell what side had the uh, the chemical on it, <laughs> so I put them on. They were on backwards. <laughs> They're in there and I'm going, <laughs> rip them off, you know. So uh, 
Then I tried a second, <laughs> a second set of strips, and uh, they don't stay on as well. They slide all over the place. So that'll be the last time I'm using this product. Maybe you guys have better uh, luck with this stuff, but with these, uh, but this product here does not do it for me, and I'm hoping I'll be able to find Equate. Okay, uh, it does say satisfaction guaranteed. I might get in touch with them and say, you know, I don't like the product. Uh, not for the fact that I put it on backwards, <laughs> for the fact it just doesn't stay uh, sticking to your teeth, you know. All right, that's enough of that. I'm just babbling on here while you guys are enjoying your coffee. <clears throat> then I got these <laughs> over the weekend, right? That brand there, and then, of course, these. These are my one of my all-time favorites. I remember my mom, God rest her soul, used to get that cookie for us when we were growing up. Not necessarily this brand, okay? But uh, that uh, specific type of cookie she would get for us. But uh, I bought this one here because this one really sparked my interest, right? Um, it's a, a shortbread cookie with dark chocolate, right? Now this is a knockoff of what Pepperidge Farm makes, right? I figured I'd try it. Well, you know what? As they say, you only get what you pay for, all right? It's not a bad product, but I was biting into it, hoping that uh, it was going to be the the taste of a, a Pepperidge Farm, you know, but it wasn't. It's not bad, but it's certainly not Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, that's enough of that. Um, after I get done seeing my fine doctor, uh, I got... Uh, an appraisal person coming uh, here today. Hopefully they're going to come here today. We, we've been having some bad weather. Uh, I just got a, a notification of uh, severe flooding in our area. And this is the second one I got. Uh, well, severe flooding uh, up until 845 at this point. But uh, Carol went to work today and uh, uh, taken uh, Keffers. It's called Keffers Mountain. Uh, they uh, detoured her around part of it. She had to go through Higgins. That's another little town up here. She had to go through Higgins to get to uh, uh, Pottsville because uh, of the flooding and that. So um, any of you that are in central Pennsylvania area, uh, be careful, you know, um, with the flooding and that. You know, don't take any chances. And if it's like that in uh, Cape May, let's be careful there also, you know. All right, one more swig of coffee here. Ah. So, you guys have a great day today, okay? I'll talk to all of you later on. You know, God bless you guys. God bless our president. Let's pray for peace on earth. You know, I'm watching the news here. Uh, <clears throat> what the heck happened over there in Canada? You know, I don't know. We're in uh, dire straits right now, you know. I don't like to get real religious, but uh, I think we need to uh, tune into our higher power and uh, pray for peace on earth, you know. All right, folks, keep on smiling. Do something nice for someone today if you can. Make somebody's day. Just give them a compliment, you know, that'll uh, turn their attitude around if they're having a bad day, all right. Love your family and your kids, especially if they live nearby because we are not guaranteed tomorrow. Keep on smiling. <clears throat> Excuse me. One more time. Cheers in Ostrovia. You guys take care of yourself. I love you guys. Honest to God, I do. Keep smiling. <laughs>